guys, welcome back to Hike Oregon. I am here with my puppy. We just finished a hike. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about tips on how to pick your backpacking backpack. If you are new here, welcome to the Hike Oregon family. I make hiking and backpacking vlogs as well as gear reviews and just general tips and tricks videos to help you become a more confident hiker and backpacker. If you enjoy content like that, click that red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified every time I make a new video. And if you want more content from me, you can always support me over on Patreon where for as little as just $1 a month, you get a ton of extra content. So there's a few things to consider when you're looking for the right backpacking backpack. First thing would be determining your style of trip. Are you going to be a weekend backpacker taking your pack out for, you know, two, maybe three night trips, but nothing more? Are you a through hiker? Are you planning on going thousands of miles in one stretch? Or are you somewhere in between where you're like, hey, I do mostly weekend backpacking, but once a year I do an extended you know, week or two week long trip. All those things will determine what kind of backpack you're gonna get. For example, I actually have two backpacking backpacks because my Osprey Aura pack I carry when my load is a little heavier, so when I go on longer trips, and also when I have to carry my bear canister. I like just the way it carries the load better. My Outdoor Vitals Shadow Light is a more simplistic ultralight backpack, and it doesn't carry heavy loads quite as well, so I take that on shorter trips and also when I don't need to have a bear canister because the bear canister in that backpack just feels like I have the plastic can just on my back. And then the next thing is assessing your gear needs. So if you are looking for a backpack and you already have all of your other gear, try to see what size pack it would fit in. Maybe you have a lot of really small things, you're sleeping bag can fold down really small. You just don't have a lot of gear. Maybe it'll fit in a 50 liter pack. If you have a ton of gear or you're going on super long trips where you're gonna have to take a ton of food, you know, you might opt for a larger pack like a 65 liter. Next is determining the right backpack fit. This can be a little bit tricky if you are not purchasing a backpack from um, an outdoor retailer like REI or somewhere, a store that you can go into, right? So if you're going to, let's say REI or a store like that, you can go in there, try on the packs, do whatever you need to do, make sure it fits you well, that nothing is rubbing and that kind of thing. They also have like sandbags and stuff there. So you can literally like weigh down the pack and like really feel what it feels like to have like, you know, 30 pounds in it. But if you are wanting to purchase a pack from like Outdoor Vitals or Z Packs or Hilltop Packs or Waymark Gear or some other cottage company like that, you can't really try them on unless you go to like PCT days or somewhere where they're gonna have a booth there. They're very good about letting you send it back for either online store credit or just um, paying a restocking fee if you need to send it back because it didn't fit. Next thing to consider is the actual pack weight. So like I mentioned earlier, my Osprey Aura has a better suspension system and is a little bit more cushy, so it carries a heavier load better. But that also comes at a cost. It is over four pounds just the backpack itself versus my Outdoor Vitals Shadow Light doesn't carry as heavy of a load well because it's just more simplistic. There isn't as big of a suspension system, it's not as cushy, and doesn't have as many bells and whistles on it. It comes in right at around two pounds, so it's about half the weight of the Osprey Aura. So that is something to consider, especially if you are long distance backpacking. That extra weight added on over that 
many thousands of miles is a lot on your body. So keep that in mind if you are doing long distance backpacking. Next thing to consider is um, the features and like organization of the backpack. So I know some people, they organize their things in like little stuff sacks and just put it all in the big backpack. I'm not that way. I prefer to have separate pockets, you know, mesh pockets and this pocket and that pocket. So that's how I like to organize my stuff. So I like a backpack with a lot of organizational components. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is research and compare brands. There are so many brands of backpacks out there and you could just spend days and days researching, but it helps if you have friends or people that you know in the backpacking world, if you know what they like. And so you can ask them like, hey, why do you like this? What are your favorite things about your, this pack you can kind of get a better feel of certain brands if you're going with like an outdoor retailer like REI I know um, Osprey is one of the more popular brands. REI themselves makes actually really good backpacks. I like them a lot. I've used a bunch of their day packs. I know they have some pretty nice backpacking packs as well. And then also like determining your budget, I guess. It does help narrow down some of the brands because some brands like Z packs, for example, their packs are pretty expensive. So if you don't have that kind of budget, you know, you're probably not even going to look at Z packs. Personally, I do love my Osprey Aura and my Outdoor Vitals Shadow Light. They are two very different packs, like I said, and I use them for different scenarios. So I like that because neither one of them have a super high price tag. So I was able to, I started off with the Osprey Aura, had it for years, and then I did get the Outdoor Vitals Shadow Light as well because I wanted to go a little bit more ultra light in certain scenarios. I think it's also important to keep in mind too, obviously you're going to go by like how it fits and stuff like that. But I think a lot of people also get caught up on like brand names sometimes and oh, this is a really popular backpack right now. Let me just buy it. And that doesn't always work out for the best. Um, I know some of my friends purchased Z packs backpacks. I hate that I'm always throwing out z packs but they make really awesome packs and they work for a lot a lot of people my friend randy for example she loves 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 her z packs pack and has had just great experiences with it and then two of my other friends bought z packs packs because they were you know they're popular they're popular for a reason they're good packs and they don't really like their packs they rub they're they don't fit quite right that kind of thing so prioritize comfort and functionality how you need it so you want the backpack to ventilate right you want to have somewhat padded shoulder and hip straps because that is where the weight is mainly on your hips but it does sit on your shoulders so you don't want um, it to be too thin on your shoulders because that will really hurt um, you don't want the hip strap to be too thin either because um, that can rub on your hip bones so and then also prioritize functionality like I said if pockets are super important to you get one with pockets if um, out Outside hooks are super important to you because you need to carry an ice axe for, you know, your through hike or something, then you need to find one that has that little clip on it, right? Just determining what kind of hikes you're wanting to do will help you pick a backpack. And then invest in quality and durability. Obviously, most backpacks from reputable brands are durable. REI has a great return policy. I do believe it's one year. So if you use the pack on numerous backpacking trips and all of a sudden there is a nylon strap that broke or one of the little buckles, one of the clips broke or something, you can return it to REI. And then as far as the cottage companies, they're all super, super, all of the ones that I've purchased stuff from are super awesome about customer service. So like if I were to email Outdoor Vitals and say, hey, this clip on my backpack broke, they would you know, work out how to send me a replacement clip or something like that. Same with Z-Packs. They're really good about standing behind their products and being like, yes, these are built to last. We want them to last. I'm so sorry it broke. Here's a replacement clip or whatever the case may be. 
So to summarize, finding a backpack is a little bit of work for sure because there's so much out there. So you just have to narrow it down, figure out your budget, figure out what kinds of trips you want to do, and then if down the line, like I did the Osprey Aura, and you know, a couple of years down the line, you find yourself kind of um, doing different types of trips, you can always sell your current backpack and buy a different one. Or like me, I just kept my Osprey Aura because I still really like it for certain trips. But if you don't, you know, have the budget for having two or three or four, I some of my friends have like a million backpacks for a million different scenarios. But if you don't have the budget for that, just sell it. Facebook is a great place to resell gear. You know, hiking pages on Facebook, it's an awesome place. People will snatch that up super fast. So something I don't recommend doing is there's certain hiking gear that you can buy on Amazon that's very decent. A backpacking backpack is not something that I recommend buying on Amazon just because you're not going to have the same type of customer service and return policy if something does go wrong. And generally these backpacks are pretty big ticket items. So it's not just gonna be like $150, they're upwards of $250 to $500. So I don't recommend doing that kind of purchase on Amazon if you're not 100% sure. Yes, I've tried this out. I know exactly this is what I want. I'm gonna purchase it on Amazon because blah, 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 blah. I have the Amazon credit card or whatever. Otherwise, I would stick to your local retailer, REI, or a cottage company if that is the type of backpack you're wanting to buy. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the Hike Oregon channel. If you don't already, go ahead and also follow me over on Instagram. That is where I post all of my recent hiking and backpacking adventure pictures. And if you want to hike and backpack here in this amazing state of Oregon, check out my website hikeoregon.net and you'll find tons of information there. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on the next adventure.